Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm an adventurer, filmmaker and photographer from Cumbria and welcome to the second episode in my Walking the Wainwright series where today I'm heading to Glenridding to do the Glenridding circuit and hopefully bag six more Wainwrights on the Wainwright challenge where I'll be meeting an old friend of mine, Andy, who's driving over from Newcastle. Andy's somebody that I climbed Kilimanjaro with back in 2012 where we both successfully summited. We've done a few walks together since, including the Three Peaks Challenge. So it'd be great to catch up with him and show him a little bit more of my own backyard here in Cumbria. So we just did our first Wainwright of the day. We went up from Glen Ridding and we went up to Glen Ridding Dodd, which is what are we saying there, Andy? How many meters? 442. 442 meters. And then now we're heading up to Sheffield Pike, which is... 675. 675, so we've probably done another one. Well, we're probably the same elevation almost, aren't we, yeah, really? Yeah. So what, another couple of hundred metres to go up on the next one? Let's do this. All right, grand. I'll follow you, sir. Up at the top of Heartside, which is the third Wainwright of the day, after Glen Ridding Dodd, Sheffield Pike, and now here. And we've got about two miles to go to the fourth one, which is Rays, and that's one that I'm actually quite excited about, because it's where the Lake District Ski Club is based. And skiing has been a huge passion in my life, but even though I've grown up in Cumbria, I've never actually skied on Rays before, so it'll be quite cool to check out where that ski hill is, see the lift, have a little bit of a look around, and yeah, hopefully one day I'll be able to pay a visit in the winter time too. What 
what, what do you think about like the ski club there, Andy? I just think it's absolutely pretty nuts. And being skiing myself, that you've got to physically climb up the hill where we just came from with your boots, with your skis, with your helmet, and your normal walking shoes as well to get up here. That you've got to be completely dedicated and really keen. <laughs> Would you be up for it in the winter time? Come back? No, no hope. Take me to the Alps any day. Top of Rays, and the weather has turned a bit. The only thing you rely on is the British weather. Oh, All right. good though, it was <laughs> fantastic. Quick pit stop at the top of Rays because the weather's really turning, and we're walking along to. Uh, white side, yeah. white side now, and it's not too much further along here, so we should get to it within 10 minutes, I think. And uh, it is, yeah, weather's making us go a little bit quicker. Again, a bit of a different route this time, coming from a different side. Uh, we've got Swirl Edge just over here, which is where we're going to be coming down, and just beyond that is Striding Edge, which is what I did a few weeks ago. And yeah, the rain has subsided, and uh, it's getting pretty hot again. So we should hopefully have a nice clear run down swirl edge without too much adverse weather and uh, that little bit of breeze that we'll hopefully find at the top will be very very welcome because it doesn't take very long at all to get very hot and sweaty doing these ascents and especially even though the weather has been raining, it's still probably about 18 degrees. So, whew, it is cooking. Oh, let's see what uh, Wainwright had to say about Rays. Rays deserves a special cheer. It is the only summit in the Helvellyn range adorned with a crown of rough rocks and they make a welcome change from the dull monotony of the green expanses around Styx Pass. Whiteside, a name of convenience. The summit is strictly nameless. Whiteside being the west slope below the top, probably so called from the splashes of quartz on so many of the stones. Although Whiteside presents an intimidating wall of low crags to travellers on the road, at Thurl Spot its upper slopes on this western side are docile enough, being wholly of grass at different gradients, two paths to Helvellyn cross this flank. 
very different to the eastern face, which falls sharply and steeply in crag and scree in silent recess of the wild upper Glenridding Valley. The summit is no more than a big grassy mound on the high ridge running northwards from Helvellyn as it rises only slightly above the general level of the ridge. Skiers and sheep share a high regard for Whiteside. This pile of rocks here is Lower Man and if we look at the map then Lower Man is just here and the final Wainwright of the day is Cat's Eye Cam. So we're just going to come along, not quite to the top of Helvellyn, and go along Swirrel Edge and then follow the route down and the elevation actually is 890 metres and it's pretty much 890 metres where we are now as well. So on a bit of a level and then from there it's just descending all the way down until we get back to Glen Ridding again. So yeah, all the up has been done and it's downhill all the way from here. On the way down from the top of Helvellyn, coming down along Swirrell Edge and it's yeah quite a lot of fun. It's a pretty unique feature, much like Shriding Edge on the opposite side over there. The rock formation means that it's uh, steep drops on both sides and some tight little places to squeeze through and the ground is uh, completely and utterly uneven and it's just a case of being careful and just watching your step, minding as you go but the views from here are just unbelievable and uh, yeah, red tarn just over my shoulder down there on the top of Helvellyn up there behind me and then if I swing back around again just over this side you've got uh, Rays where we just came over and then our ascent over to Cat's Eye Cam is just that path just along there Final ascent up to the top of Cat's Eye Cam, and this is the last Wainwright of the day. 6 1 on the circuit. This place is uh, pretty unbelievable. Are them views, Andy? We did it! I'm on top of the world, Ma! <laughs> Amazing. Make it official. Adding a little stone on top of the can. Everywhere that we are, there's 360 degree views and it's just sensational. I think today's walk will live long in the memory. From the first episode, when I went up to Helvellyn, I'm in the same area, I'm still in the Helvellyn kind of region, but it's totally different landscape. And I think that is my favorite thing that I'm discovering about doing these walks, is that when you stitch together the different Wainwrights, you get to experience so many different types of terrain. There's pathways and there's rugged areas and there's climbs and there's technical areas like Swirrell Edge where the rocks kind of drop down on both sides and you've got to be mindful of where you put your feet but everywhere is ever changing and the views are constantly changing as well. To stitch these Wainwrights together in the way that I am, it's a very rewarding worthwhile experience for sure. That's 
a wrap on a Glen Reading circuit with six new Wainwrights in the bag and a couple of others I've done before thrown in for good measure with a total distance of 21.83 kilometres covered, 1,208 metres of elevation gain and it's now 20 past six. We left at nine o'clock this morning, so just shy of nine and a half hours out with the fells. I thought we'd be 10 hours today, so we've come in a little bit shorter, which is great. My pal Andy's now in the pub and that's exactly where I'm gonna go and join him. Thanks for a cracking day out in the fells. We enjoyed it, mate. Cheers. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.